Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Escaping divorce to the Philippines is quite common, um, and most of the guys I know have been burned severely. Um, there was one guy, successful business, but his child support and payment to his ex-wife was about $5,000 a month. Um, I know my old neighbor, he used to be a developer for Codemasters. Uh, he, well, he's a graphics designer and encoder. He basically seen that his ex-wife, because they had three children before they separated, she, his ex-wife was quite violent towards him. Um, but basically, he seen that um, most of his income was basically going to feed her and her new boyfriend living in his old house with his old car, etc. So he quit. Um, and I remember the day where he, because this was in Ireland, he moved to the UK and that's how I become my neighbor. And I remember the paperwork he brought in because they said, um, because of the court system, it takes three months to reassess your payments. Um, and basically what he had is he'd gone from quite a large income down to probably less than a quarter of what he used to earn, but he was content. You know, at the end of the day, he was giving it all away anyway, so he wasn't really bothered, you know, dropping down. But then it was like, bang, CSA, Child Support Agency. Um, he they basically contacted his employer, took his wages, and he was left with four hundred and fifteen pounds for the month. Uh, his rent's four hundred. <laughs> So what he was left with, which is basically 15 pounds, was less than he could afford to feed himself, pay his electric, pay his other bills. Um, they'd robbed him blind um, because the period between him working, uh, quitting, changing jobs and getting a re reassessed by the court, they had managed to rack up uh, 10,000 pounds worth of uh, arrears that he no longer earned, you know, because he hadn't earned it for several months because he was unemployed. But that doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter because you're the guy. Just screw you over. You're that's what you're there for. Uh, that's the West. Um, so I have a lot of sympathy for these guys. I really do. Um, I know another guy that lost literally everything he had except for his pension. Um, He's happily married in the Philippines um, and he will never go back to the US. But I know several other people that have basically just avoided giving everything away because they basically sold everything and just disappeared to the Philippines because they knew what was coming. I, um, myself, I wasn't married when I split with my ex. I've uh, been with her for 11 years. I just took a bag of my clothing and stuff and just left her with everything. Um, because I could see that the court hassles weren't worth it. Um, there's like these mediation meetings in the UK. They're called a child court or something because it's mediation so you get access to your kids. First thing they do is they look at access to the guy's money. Uh, it's got nothing to do with um, the actual access to the children, but obviously they want access to your cash. That's it. Um, but the other side of this, you can go public with it. You can go to jail if you went public with their their uh, findings. Yet these courts are very, very manipulated. Um, to the point I just ripped the paperwork up and said to hell with it. Um, because I knew what was coming. So, um, did it... Did it affect my decision to the Philippines? That's just no, because I wasn't getting divorced anyway. Um, and I'd left with just a bag of clothing anyway. I just had to do the child maintenance and I did the reading up in the paywork, paperwork and I paid what I had to pay and it's just keep the hell away from me. Um, uh, when I say that, I don't mean my ex and my daughter, I mean the government. Because um, they they've caused a lot of deaths in the UK. But this is why I'm bring, making this video. Because if you're in that situation where you think everything's lost, just hop on a plane and just uh, stick your fingers up to it and head to the Philippines because <laughs> they can't chase you. 
Um, they they don't chase people to the Philippines. That's why a lot of guys go up there. Um, like I know several people that had very difficult relationships before, but because the ex thought I've got you by the um, short and curlies, then they basically just hammered the guys. It become very personal. But when he got to the Philippines, and that ex has got no control over them whatsoever, the ex actually lightens up because they realize they haven't got control over you. You've took re control over your life. You're not. You can't be uh, abused and used to suit themselves. Um, and that's what I love about the Philippines. That's why I say, you know, um, a lot of people get freedoms from the Philippines. That's where it comes from. Um, a lot of guys in the UK will not marry or let a woman live in their house because they know that the law is so um, fractured and biased in the woman's favor that it's not worth the risk. And that's sad when your assets take priority over actually finding somebody you actually love. Philippines, you can meet the love of your life and be happy and money's not on the table a lot of the time. So yeah, escape to the Philippines. <laughs>